wormholes can be a dangerous place to explore. But for those strong and brave enough, it can be very rewarding. In this guide I will show you the combat encounters that you may find in regulated space of a wormhole. You can recognize these encounters by the four little squares in their icon. The first encounter features three rings. At the start there are three enemies at the first ring. When you defeat these enemies, a container with loot will appear. As soon as you take this loot, three more enemies will appear at the second ring. After you take those out, another loot container will appear and opening that one will spawn the last set of enemies, which will drop another loot container. So this encounter gives you loot three times in a row. And that makes this the best encounter in regulated wormhole space. The type of enemies will not always be the same. And sometimes it will contain enemies that leech your energy or lower your resistances. Quite annoying. The next encounter also has three sets of three enemies. But this time there is only one loot container at the end. Furthermore, in this encounter the next set of enemies will appear as soon as you kill the previous one. All enemies will spawn close to the space station. So if you have your ship fitted for long range sniping you could take them all out before they can even reach you. However, the loot container at the end will always be next to the space station. So if you are impatient like me, move up to the space station directly from the start so you can loot the container as soon as you killed all the sets of enemies. Just like the previous encounter, types of enemies will not always be the same, and sometimes it will contain enemies that leech your energy or lower your resistances. Still, quite annoying. The next encounter will always contain the same three enemies. Even though they don't debuff you, they can put up a good fight. You don't have to fight them though, as the loot container in this encounter can be accessed right from the beginning. However, as soon as you start accessing it, all three enemies will attack you. If you manage to loot the container, Without killing any of the opponents, you will get an achievement. You need to have a very tanky ship for that. Because as I said, these enemies are tough and you might not survive. So you might want to take out one or two before you access the container. The container takes longer to open than a regular loot container. But you can open this one while you are fighting, making this an, an, an encounter you can clear real fast if you have a good ship. Ah, Pablo. He is a drug dealer and he offers you a free sample. If you choose to take it, then soon after Three enemies will appear. Each enemy you kill will immediately spawn a new one. And the new ones will always spawn right on top of you. So it's no use trying to get some distance. This encounter will 
truly test your endurance. And even though it turns out the enemies are a drug induced hallucination, they can kill you for real if you are not strong. I'm not sure if this encounter is worth it. Even if you are strong enough to tank all these enemies, they keep attacking for quite some time. There is a counter at the top right that tracks how many enemies you killed. But it seems to have no impact on your reward at the end. It would have been nice if your reward was based on the amount of enemies you kill. When you warp into the next encounter for the first time, it can be scary to see 9 hostile ships waiting. However, they are grouped up in groups of 3 which are far away from each other. Each group of 3 will only attack you if you attack them or if you get close to them. And each group of 3 will drop a loot container after you kill them. So that's 3 loot containers you can get in the, just this one encounter. However, if you are in a slow ship I would still recommend you skip this encounter. Because the containers will drop at the exact spot where you kill the third enemy of each group. And because these groups are so far apart it will take you a long time to travel to each container. If you have a fast ship however, don't skip this one. Free loot containers. Oh yeah. The next encounter you should skip no matter what you are flying. This encounter holds 10 enemy drones that are scattered around space and you only get one reward at the end, which you have to collect at the lab. For demonstration purposes, I will show you what happens if you do choose to take on this encounter. Each time you kill a drone, a message will warn you that the threat level has gone up, and occasionally the NPC in the lab will tell you the drones are, get, are getting stronger each time you kill them. However, I don't think they actually become stronger in any way. They deal the same amount of damage and they take the same amount of damage. And each time you kill one, the others get reduced maximum health. So they rather become easier the more you kill. It still takes a long time to kill them all and to collect your reward at the end. So like I said, skip this one. When you encounter a damaged ship like this one, two things can happen. It can turn out to be a trap spawning three pirates out to kill you, or it can be a friendly NPC who just needs two small energy transfers from you to get him jump started. If it's the friendly NPC then this encounter is a really fast and safe way to get a decent reward. However, if it turns out to be a trap and the pirates show up, then you might as well jump out immediately because killing the pirates will only give you a few credits. And not even the good kind, but the normal white currency you probably already have millions of. There are several encounters 
Let's start with this abandoned base. In this one, the Tin Hap representative tells you that he wants to send out signals in order to detect valuables in space. However, as soon as you activate this signal, AI ships start to attack. When the attack is over, talk to the Tin Hap representative to claim your reward. There is a similar encounter to this one, where the abandoned base starts with a shield, and when you interact with it to disable the shield, pirates will start to attack. And the Tin Hap Rap will reward you after their attack is over. Because that encounter is so similar to this one, I decided not to include it. In the next encounter featuring the Tin Hop Rap in the abandoned base, he tells you that he detected a cargo fleet and he intends to lure them to this base. However, when they show up, it turns out it's not a cargo fleet after all, but a suicide bomber. You have to take him out before he reaches the base. You only have to kill the ship called Sahakriel. Ignore all the others, as they will blow up as soon as you take out Sahakriel. Afterwards, return to the base to pick up your reward. The attacking ships will always be in ships that are armed with short-range lasers. So if you are in a ship that is also short-range and vulnerable to thermal damage, these ships could melt you in mere seconds. Thanks for watching. Check out my other wormhole videos as well to get more info on what encounters you may find in the wormholes. The links are in the description.